So finally, after what seems like ages of leaks, rumors and teasers, we have another phone from POCO. Well, it's not the follow-up to the POCO F1 that we've been waiting for. This is the POCO X2 and it also happens to be a very interesting phone. Now, if you're thinking it looks eerily similar to a certain other smartphone that we've recently covered, you're absolutely right and we'll talk about all of that and more in a bit. First, let's get this phone unboxed. And oh yeah, I'm giving this one away too. Stay tuned for more details on that. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and if you do end up liking what you see in this video, please consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this unboxing started. So this is the POCO X2's box. We have POCO branding up top with the X2 made out of a collage of names, people who've been uh, involved with POCO. It's a unique touch, I like it. To the sides, we have more branding and a mention of the main USB of this phone, the 120Hz panel. The back, here we have the main spec highlights and I guess we had the pricing sticker here, but that's been torn off. Let's now slice through those seals and take a peek at what's on the inside. We have a cardboard box here with a characteristic bright POCO yellow. Inside, we get a SIM ejector pen, the regular paperwork and a transparent soft silicone case. Then there's the POCO X2. Let's get the plastic cover off. There is even a sticker to the back. And finally, this is the POCO K30. I'm in X2, X2, POCO X2. The Atlantis Blue variant. The circular camera ring design, it's kind of grown on me over the past few weeks. What about you guys? What do you think about it? Here's a poll, let me know. Now putting it up, we have the POCO logo. Let me put it in its case and get back to the box contents. Next up, we have a USB Type-C cable along with a 27 watt fast charger. And that's about everything inside the box. Let's now turn our attention back to the POCO X2. And let me start off by addressing the elephant in the room. Yes, this is exactly the same phone hardware wise as the Redmi K30, you know, with one minor change. The change being, NFC is being removed. The Redmi K30 minus NFC equals POCO X2. That's the math this time. Now, there are also a few software changes, but barring that, this is pretty much the same Redmi K30 that I've covered in great detail in my previous videos. So if you wanna know more about those features, check out this playlist. And here's the quick version. As I mentioned earlier, the standout feature here is that 6.67 inch IPS LCD display. POCO is calling it their uh, reality flow display. This is a full HD plus panel that runs at 120 Hertz. Now, as I mentioned in my review of the K30, the faster refresh rate does mean that this phone feels smoother than any other phone that's running at stock 60 Hertz. That said, the 730G inside, at least on the K30, it was just not enough to keep up with a steady 120 frames a second, which means we saw a few micro stutters and frame drops. Now, is that something POCO has managed to address with the X2? Have they managed to solve it? Well, I'm gonna have to spend more time with this phone and I'll let you know in my full review. Initial impressions, everything appears pretty similar. So the same pros and cons still seem to hold true. Uh, the display is bright with exemplary viewing angles, the support for HDR10 as well as Widevine L1. We have a punch hole camera up top here. And while some may have considered that a step back from the all screen display on the K20, it definitely feels like a step up from the notched panel on the POCO F1. But honestly, that's like a two-year-old phone at this point, so we're not gonna be drawing too many parallels to it. Now, one thing that the POCO F1 was praised for was for its performance. The 730G chip here might not be a Snapdragon 865, but honestly, when it comes to games, it performs really well. Even in games that support the higher refresh rates, like Modern Combat Versus, we did not notice any major frame drops or jankiness. Uh, flicking felt smooth and the touch response was great. The 120Hz panel really comes to life here. We love playing Mortal Kombat on it. The next highlight of this phone is that quad camera setup. The primary is Sony's new 64 megapixel IMX686 sensor and it's paired with the f1.9 lens. It does really well under good lighting conditions. The shots come out uh, well with punchy colors and great dynamic range. 
Just look at how blue the sky is and how lush uh, the greens on the leaves are. Zooming in, we can see the details of our favorite JCB. Yes, it makes a return here in our camera samples along with the Poco brand. And the low light, the night mode does do a pretty decent job. Photos come out looking bright with good colors. Next, we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide that's plenty sharp. That's followed by a 2 megapixel macro camera to get close up shots like this one. Now, for the final camera, we have yet another 2 megapixel sensor, but this time this is used for depth deduction. It helps out with portrait shots like this. We also get a bunch of portrait lighting modes for the back as well as the front camera. Talking about which, we have two cameras to the front. The primary is a 20 megapixel shooter with HDR support and the resulting photos, they came out looking good. Once again, there's a 2 megapixel depth sensor here and the interesting thing about this is that we can set the blur strength and studio lighting effects after capturing the picture as well. Now wrapping up the rest of the hardware, we have a 4500 mAh battery inside the POCO X2. The Redmi K30 easily lasted us through a day on a single charge, so I expect the same out of the POCO X2 as well. As far as the charging speeds go, as we saw earlier, there's a 27 watt fast charger included in the box. So it should be useful for a quick top up. With regards to placements, we have a USB Type-C port to the bottom along with the speaker grill and a dedicated 3.5mm headphone jack apart from the primary microphone. There's FM radio functionality built in but NFC is omitted for India. The power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner, that's to the right. Not my favorite position but it's fast and accurate so I can live with that. Right above that we have the volume buttons. The top holds the secondary noise cancelling microphone along with the IR blaster. I'm glad that Poco did not cut that one out. And finally to the left we have the hybrid SIM tray. So micro SD expansion is an option if you want. The rest of the build, honestly, it's just the same as the K30. We have a horizontal Poco logo here instead of a vertical Redmi one. So let me cut to my K30 review for a bit. Starting with the build, Redmi have used Gorilla Glass to the front and back. But where they've cut back is with the frame. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not metal like on the K20 anymore. Instead, they've gone for a plastic frame this time. The thickness, it's remained unchanged, which is quite impressive considering that Redmi have managed to increase the battery capacity by 12.5%. To the back, Redmi have this circle around the camera. Under the right light, it gives off an almost 3D-ish effect. And it does feel unique. Yeah, I'll give Redmi that. There are shades of Huawei, but it's still fairly new and everything I say about the K30 here applies exactly to the POCO X2. From a software perspective, the X2 comes with the POCO launcher on board which means we do get an app draw. Other than that though, most of the features here are already what we've seen with MIUI 11 built on top of Android 10. Stuff like game space, quick replies and dark mode are all present and accounted for. The main difference is that POCO had promised earlier that their devices uh, would offer an ad-free experience as well as better software turnaround times for fixes and so on and they continue to state the same for the X2 as well. It's worth mentioning that our device came with some bloatware pre-installed so take that as you will. Finally, the most important piece of the POCO puzzle is the pricing. POCO is planning to launch three variants of the Redmi K30 in India or as the POCO X2. It should be available in 664, 6128 and 8128 RAM storage configurations. Now the K30 in China, it starts at 1599 yuan, which converts to about 16,500 rupees. So as far as the POCO X2 is concerned, we don't have any official confirmation of pricing yet, but rumors indicate that this should start at around 18, 19,000 rupees in India. And based on Redmi's track record, a 2,000 rupee price hike when these devices jump borders to India, now that's something we've come to expect. Uh, so maybe 18, 19,000 might be the actual pricing. Of course, by the time this video goes live, the official price would already be available and I will pin it in the comments and also tweet about it uh, from my official handle at c 4 etx so do keep an eye out for that. Even at 19,000 rupees, the POCO X2 feels like a good deal considering what it is that it brings to the table. And what's more, I am giving one away. As with other giveaways, I'm going to be keeping it very simple. This giveaway is for c 4 Tech subscribers, so you're going to have to be a c 4 Tech subscriber to enter, and that's pretty much it, plain and simple. So just head on over to the link in the description below, and that's it. Make sure you're, this is, you're subscribed to c 4 Tech, and that counts as an entry. This giveaway will run from today until the 1st of March, and on the 2nd, a winner will be chosen at random, and you will get a POCO X2. If you want to improve your chances, there are some extra entries like following us on socials, but they are totally optional and pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and the winner will be announced via Twitter. And if you don't, if you aren't on Twitter, you can use the same link that you use to enter. 
to check out who won the giveaway. And I guess that's pretty much it. Now I wanna know what you guys think about the Poco X2. Would you be interested in buying one for yourself? And why do you think Poco is calling this the X2? What do you think happened to the Poco X or the Poco X1? Let me know in the comments below. As always, do hit the thumbs up, thumbs down button based on what you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Best of luck to you all with the giveaway. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.